In the system that I teach, the bump and run is the foundation for the full swing, but it's also the foundation for a variety of other shots that you can play in your short game. And today I'm going to be explaining how you can turn the bump and run stroke into a pitch. The only difference between the bump and run and a pitch is your ball position. This is the ball position for a bump and run, and this is the ball position for a pitch. The ball is just played farther forward in the stance, which means that the club is going to have more loft on it. But the stroke is exactly the same. The principles are the same. We have our weight anchored on our front foot in a majority, and our shoulders are closed through impact. So watch me here. This is the bump and run. You see the closed position at impact, weight clearly on the left, and because the ball position is in the middle of the stance, the trajectory is lower, and the ball will run farther. Now with the pitch, same technique, I just change ball position. Same stroke, I just change ball position. And because of the different ball position, see the same closed position at impact, because of the different ball position, I get a higher shot. That's it. Now, it's important to remember that the pitch is slightly more difficult than the bump and run because as you move your ball position closer to your left foot, you're getting closer to the bottom of the arc for the swing. There is less margin for error. So the bump and run should always be your first choice of shots to play. But if you need to play a pitch, which is a shot that basically flies half the distance that it rolls out, then you play the ball farther forward in the stance, like I'm doing here, but you still adhere to the principles that you're going to have your weight on your lead foot and your shoulders are going to be closed through impact. So once again, here's the ball position for the bump and run. Here's the ball position for the pitch. This is what the bump and run looks like from the face-on view. You're going to see the ball fly lower, but you're going to see that the stroke is the same. And here's the pitch. The only difference is that the ball is farther forward in the stance, so the ball flies higher and lands softer than the bump and run. Same principles, though. So watch me again here. I anchor my weight on my lead foot, and I make sure that my body is closed down in the setup position so that I can have an inside-out path into the ball. There is no glancing blow here. There is no timing that's occurring. I'm just using the club and my setup position to influence how the ball flies. So this is something that you could practice at your house or in your yard or at a practice facility, but you don't need a lot of space to do this. In fact, when I was a kid, if my mom only knew how many times I would chip over the glass coffee table. Watch me again here from the face on view. Ball positions in the front of the stance, stroke is the same. So, once you feel confident with your ability to consistently hit the ball solid with the bump and run stroke, move the ball forward in your stance, use the same stroke, and start to practice the pitch. 